What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna open this box. It's already opened, live. And this is what happens when you order a can of kit from Amazon. That's it, that's all it comes with. Uh, I recommend getting the can of kit because the pie itself is around 35 to $40 on its own. And here you're gonna get not only the Raspberry Pi, the latest and the greatest, but you're gonna get the heat sinks, you're gonna get the case, and you're gonna get the power supply. The power supply is five to ten dollars right there, and then the heat sinks are, you know, depending on where you get them, a dollar to five dollars, and then the case, depending on where you get it, is gonna be a couple dollars to ten dollars. So it's totally worth the value to just buy the can of kit and get everything, unless you only need one part. But like for me, for example, I have like three cases. I don't need another case for my pie but it was still made more sense for me to buy this than to just buy a pie. Not only that, I got free next day shipping with this because I'm Amazon Prime, where if I was to get the regular pie, I would have had to wait four days. So it's worth an extra $10 to me just for the free one day shipping. So here it is, let's go ahead and uh, open this thing up. And we're just gonna kind of do an unboxing here. You can check out my other videos as far as like, you know, um, setting up an image. This is just more of the hardware side of everything. So you open this up, and inside is the power adapter. Brand new, ready to go. It's uh, 2.5 amps, five volts, good long distance. This charger works great. I use it for my Raspberry Pi. All the videos you see, I use this one. I know you can get higher voltage or different voltage depending on if you're in another country or if you're overclocking, but even this one will allow you to overclock, so it's a good power supply to have. And then we have the case. Nice, clear case, it's plastic. Does have some ventilation here at the top. A lot of ventilation there at the bottom clear acrylic it comes I believe it's three pieces yep three pieces there you go not bad right three pieces then we have our heat sinks which are glued to our um, glued to the box here um, I'm not going to use these because I'm going to be doing another review shortly and I'm not sure if it'll fit. Uh, actually, the new review I'm doing comes with heat sinks. So we'll compare those two heat sinks in the next video where I'm gonna be putting these a different setup. So let's just get this ready without the heat sinks. So inside, when you open it, um, this is the one gig of RAM, 1.2 gigahertz, wireless, Bluetooth, everything you want. Oh, look how cute that is. Comes wrapped up just like that. Don't even want to open it, I just, just kind of want to leave it right here. Kind of has like a food, it makes me think of food when I open this. Okay, anyways, it's not a, an electronic experience, it's more of a food experience. Okay, I'm guessing this is some sort of anti-static container, or at least it doesn't allow static to occur. And there you have it, the Raspberry Pi. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so now for this case, if you do want to use the Canna case, um, SD card, as you can see the SD slot is here, so that means that's the back where the card goes in. See, there's a little card slot on the back. Here's the back side of the pie in case you were curious. Let's get some close-ups, right? Let's really look at this thing. Mmm. Mmm, look at that. Look at that close-up. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, and then the USBs and then LAN. Yeah, okay. So this just fits right in, oh I see. It's, it's basically like got a little, see these two tabs right here, just gonna go probably backside first. Kinda goes underneath those two tabs. See how I have these little two tabs here? Right there, and right there. So you have the little tabs underneath and then I imagine this just kind of sets right in there. That looks good. Also the HDMI lines up. Then you have the 3.5 auxiliary resting in that little half circle here. So everything lines up really well. Then you're probably going to do this one next. Middle part of the case. And uh, you'd put your heat sinks on if I was doing the heat sinks. You just, re you just pull off this little glue here. The big one goes on the processor. The little one goes on your, your LAN right over here, your wireless. 
And uh, that's it. You unfortunately don't get one for the bottom chip. And then this just goes, should just snap right on top, I imagine. Oh, broke it, sorry. There you go, it snaps into place like that. So there you have this all on. Your heat sinks would protrude up just a little bit. But again, like look at this, this really doesn't come up much. And then uh, as far as which side is front and which side is back, that's a great question. I imagine this side is the back because there's no holes for these two things on the front. So it has to go like this. And also this aligns with these things on the side. And uh, I don't think it, does it snap into place or do we just kind of, or is that supposed to be a little higher? Yeah, I guess that's the top right there. So it has like a, about a little bit of slit there to let some air flow through around the whole pie. And then there you go. This is pretty cool that it's clear. I also like that you can maybe put like some LED lights in here if you wanted to, to make it glow. And then as far as the status lights, it still has a little two hole light holes right there. So you'll still be able to see the status lights on here. And that's the can of kit. And you have the power supply, which is plugged into here. You get your power in there. You may have your heat sinks on there, may not. You get your instruction manual. And that is the Raspberry Pi with the can of kit. I mean, this is, look at like this case is nothing crazy. But for the $40, to have everything, all you need is controllers now. You have everything you need except controller and an SD card. And I mean, it's good It's good not to buy these little, they have these kits where you get like the 16 gig, 32 gig, but what if you wanna get 128 gig? And you don't need the 16 or 32. So the can of kit, get the can of kit. If you don't have the controllers, a couple controllers, and then the SD card of your choice. Mix, don't cheap out on the SD card, get like a sand disc or a Samsung uh, high-end card. I'll put some links in the description below for those. I hope you like this video. If you could, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it.